Hello, hello gang. Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. If you are new here guys and you are joining me for the first time today, then a huge welcome to you. Thanks for popping on over to my channel. And if you are one of my loyal subscribers, thank you so, so much you guys. You know how much I appreciate you. So now to kick off today's video, guys, I am so excited for this one. <laughs> As you know, Ever Moment is my number one favorite store at the moment. I order customs from them just about every month. And in general, I do use my own art, AI generated art. However, today's reveal and review video is a piece of art that I actually got from a specific artist. I did contact the artist for his consent, but before we get into all of that, I think it's important for me to do the reveal first because I think you guys are dying to see this one. So without further ado, this is my latest finish from the ever great company Ever Moment on AliExpress. Ta-da! <laughs> guys, look at this piece. I mean, she's pretty much all in frame, um, but I am just going to move her up and down because there's tiny bits that aren't. So if I go all the way to the bottom here, you can actually see this is her neck and she's got some beads and things around her neck and there are some fingers over here. So if I pull this down, then you can't 100% see the top. So I am just panning a little bit up and down so that you guys can see this gorgeous finish. I am just besotted and in love with this canvas and this finish. So guys, before we get into the actual review itself, let me tell you a little bit about the art and let me give you some specs. Okay, so this piece is titled Beauty Will Save the World. The artist is Adrian Border. I did contact this artist via email and I asked him if I could make use of his art for a diamond painting and he very graciously gave me his consent. Now I go into all of that in a little bit more detail in my unboxing so I will link my unboxing video below. If any of you want to see the unboxing, want to see what this canvas looked like without having any drills on it or want to hear more about the artist and this piece then please go and check out this or that unboxing video which is linked below. So basically what I can tell you is that this piece of art was done by the artist after he had traveled to Ethiopia. Now most of you know I'm South African, born and bred. I love my country and my continent and so this piece of art just spoke to me. I just think she is so gorgeous but I also think this piece of art is telling a bigger story. If you have a look in her eyes now, I know when I did my unboxing, I had a subscriber who mentioned that she was very keen to see how the eyes were going to be rendered and how the reflection in the eyes was going to come out. Well, you guys tell me, what do you think of this? Can you see the people reflected in her eyes? So in other words, this girl is looking at a whole lot of people who are looking at her and taking photographs of her. So I just think there's so much behind this piece and I just absolutely love it. And I love the rendering. I mean, look at those eyes, you guys. I think it's come out absolutely perfectly. Okay, but anyway, before I do more gushing about that, let me give you some other stats. So this is a square drill diamond painting. Like I said at the beginning, I ordered this from Evermoment. The size is 50 by 70 centimeters. And this one came with a total of 40 colors. Now, it didn't have any ABs because I don't tend to order my paintings with ABs. So I have finished this one exactly as I received it. I used all of Evermoment's drills. I didn't um, enhance the painting at all. I didn't use any ABs, nothing like that. So basically what you're seeing here is how the kit arrived for me. Right. So let's kick off with the actual post review. 
So firstly, as you know, I like to talk about the kitting up process. I had absolutely no issue with kitting up. These drills do come in the crinkly plastic packets. They are not in the Ziploc bags, but I had zero static in any of these drills. And so kitting up was an absolute pleasure. Then moving on to the canvas itself, Evermoment uses a very soft velvety canvas, almost like Di Diamond Art Club, just as soft. And they do also have the scalloped edges, which you can see along there, and the poked holes to stop the canvas from fraying. Over and above that, this is obviously a poured glue canvas. I think you guys know that I refuse to work on double-sided adhesive. Um, life is too short for putting up with that crap. <laughs> Excuse my language. But yeah, I'm a poured glue girl. So this canvas was poured glue. The glue was absolutely perfect. I had no issues with it. I had no patches which were problematic or not sticky. Everything was absolutely perfect with the glue. Um, as for the size of this painting, I ordered it in a size 50 by 70 and it did arrive true to size. I did in fact measure it for the purpose of this review and I can tell you that the exact measurements were 49.5 centimeters by 69.8 centimeters. So in my book that's true to size so no problems with that. Now moving on to the symbols um, again I must repeat those of you who want to see the symbols and you know you might want to assess if you think the symbols are clear or if they will work for you definitely check out my unboxing video which is linked in the description below but I can confirm that the symbols were crystal clear um, there was no smudging there was no blurring there were no symbols that I couldn't see or that I had to get out my cell phone and try and magnify all the symbols were perfect and I didn't get them confused there was nothing that I got confused um, the legend on the side of the canvas over here, also just to reaffirm, with ever moment you will only get one legend, but I think and hopefully you can see how perfectly clear um, all of those symbols were over there. The other thing I must tell you and that I love with ever moment canvases is that they put their legend a little bit away from the, let me show you here what I'm talking about. So. They move the legend a little bit away from the edge of the diamond painting or the image itself. So in other words, when you put your washi tape around the border, like I've done here, you don't end up covering the legend, you know, which is something that happens with many other companies. In fact, most companies, I normally have to stop my washi tape, you know, in that section so that I can leave the legend clear because I am someone who does refer to, to the legend now and then. So those are the symbols, the drills. Now guys, in my experience, and specifically let me talk about AliExpress, I have found no AliExpress store that I would be happy ordering square drills from, except for Evermoment. Evermoment square drills are on a par with perhaps Diamond Art Club. Now, for me, Diamond Art Club squares as they are now, okay? In the past, Diamond Art Club also, like all companies, had problems with their squares. But Diamond Art Club squares now are the best and, and top quality squares. Ever moment are right there as well. Maybe a teeny bit behind Diamond Art Club, but only because you do get more trash with Ever Moment squares. But before we go on to that, these ever moment square drills were absolutely fantastic as i'm running my hand over this canvas there is no popping i cannot feel a single popped drill also while i was working on this canvas there was zero gapping like i mean zero so i got no gapping and no popping and i loved the sound effects i would get with these squares <laughs> I hope those you of those of you who love squares, I hope you know what I mean by that. You know when the squares are fitting so perfectly together that as you put them in, they make that nice popping sound. I was getting that with these squares and I absolutely loved it. So the drills were perfect. Now, you will get trash with your Evermoment squares. I am not a fussy drill person. 
So I don't go and analyze each and every drill, but obviously if I can see that a drill is clearly defective, I won't use it. You do get trash with these squares. There is more trash in these than you will get in a Diamond Art Club kit, but I don't care. <laughs> and the reason I don't care is because this is the end result and because I had no bop bopping, listen to me, I had no popping and no gapping. So if I have a lot of trash, I don't really care. Over and above that, guys, I did not run out of any colors. So here is my tray. I have plenty of colors or, or drills, let me say. I have plenty of drills left over in every single color. In the containers where the drills are looking like, ooh, Kim, you, you nearly ran out. For example, that one, the 3371. Hopefully you can see how few drills are in there. And in the 310, you can see there are basically no drills left in there. But guys, here you go. I still had two bags of 310s. And I still had two bags of the 3371. So at no stage was I close to running out of any drills. And as you can see, hopefully in the other containers, there are plenty of drills left in everything. And this is even saying to you guys that there was a lot of trash. So I did remove quite a lot of trash, maybe slightly less than some others would remove. If you're more picky than me, then maybe you would have removed more. But I mean, that's not to say that I'm not picky at all. I mean, I obviously am. And that's why my end painting here has no popping, because I obviously was selective with, with, with the drills. But just please do expect some trash. Um, I may be going a little bit overboard with this. Maybe I'm making it sound like, oh my gosh, there's so much trash. No, there isn't. There isn't, guys. But there is some trash, and so just expect that. Then, as we start to wind down this review, let's talk about the rendering. Well, I mean, and for this, I'm just going to be panning up and down again. You tell me what you think. <laughs> I think this rendering is absolutely stunning. I think the soft features of this girl or lady are captured perfectly. There are no hard, drastic lines. We have already spoken about the eyes. I mean, have a look at those eyes again. There are some other things I'm going to speak about, but my favorites of this, the eyes, I just think are so stunning. Then the middle of the face, you can see this hand over here with paint on the edge of this lady's fingers as she makes the dots, the decoration across this girl or this lady's face. And then my other favorite thing. Oh, guys, look at the lips. <laughs> Who does not want lips that look like that? Oh, I would take these lips any day. Look how beautifully rendered those lips are. I mean, I'm just pushing it up and down because there is a fair bit of sparkle coming off this canvas. And so I just want to see, you know, or make sure that you guys are getting the best view of these gorgeous lips. The colors used in here, all the different colors and the shading to get this perfect look, I just think is absolutely stunning. Obviously, her teeth are poking out there, but it's the lips that I think are gorgeous. And then lastly, as you can also see the sparkle. I mean, the sparkle on this canvas is fantastic. I am using natural light, but because it's winter here now, um, our light is not as crisp and as bright as it would normally be. And so I do have a little side lamp off to the side there, and I think that's why you're getting more sparkle over here. But the sparkle and shimmer of these drills and on this canvas is also just absolutely stunning. Okay. My final thoughts. Well, I think you know what I'm going to say. My final thoughts are that this is one of my favorite finishes of the year. And in order to let you guys see what this piece looks like from a little bit further away, because I know when we do review videos like this, the camera is fairly close to the, the canvas. And we all know that diamond paintings are supposed to be viewed from, from a distance. So what I've done is I've taken a photo of this piece from a distance and I'm going to put it up on the screen round about here somewhere so that you guys can just have a look at this piece and see 
how gorgeous it is and basically get a feel for it if you are hanging this piece up in your house as a piece of art then what you are seeing on the screen now is how you would see it and i just think for a diamond painting there is absolutely nothing wrong with what you are seeing now on your screen Right, so now you are back with me live on the actual canvas itself, and I'm just ending off on my final thoughts. I was saying to you that this is one of my favorite finishes of the year, and it is. Now, you must know also that this one took me quite a long time to work on. I started it on the 22nd of March, and I finished it on the 31st of May. Just know that I was not working on it all the time. I tend to sometimes get a bit of burnout on certain canvases, and so I do now and then take a break. I took a break with this one. Over and above that, I was in a patch, and I'm still almost in that patch, where I had six different diamond paintings kitted up at the same time, and I was working between them. I currently have five. <laughs> so I've managed to decrease that number by one. But basically, this was not a quick diamond painting for me. I loved every minute of it, but I went slowly and I just enjoyed the process of working on it. Also, the color scheme, some of you may be looking at it and saying, oh no, that's for me, I would definitely, not for me, I would definitely get bored with those colors. The good news is I didn't. The colors are, as you can see, and I say again, as you can see, I realize I, I use those words a lot, so <laughs> apologies for that. But this is primarily a brown canvas. So there are various browns, blacks, very dark blues, and then some lighter neutral colors here in the middle of the face. And there are little bits of pink and red in the lips. But... The majority of this painting is obviously dark and neutral colors. Now, that was not a problem for me. I didn't get bored of it, and maybe that was because I took a break, but it's just because this piece was coming alive in such a fantastic way for me that I really genuinely never got bored. So, in conclusion then, guys, this is another cracker from Evermoment. I'm so grateful to this artist for letting me use this gorgeous piece of art and for turning it into a diamond painting. I'm extremely tempted to hang this one on my wall. <laughs> and I don't actually hang up any of my diamond paintings, but this one is just so gorgeous. Anyway, gang, I hope this has been a fun and informative review for you guys. I will obviously link down below in the description box, the Evermoment store. If any of you are interested in checking out their store or ordering a custom, then use the link below. And if you have any questions, just message Evermoment on AliExpress. The lady who you will speak to there is Zoe. She speaks very good English and she is very helpful and very friendly. So don't be afraid to contact her with questions. I highly recommend the store. You guys know my feelings about honesty on my channel and I would not say anything positive or as positive about this canvas if I didn't literally and genuinely feel that way. I am immensely happy with this canvas. I have no complaints and I had the most amazing diamond painting experience working on it. So gang, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for trusting me and trusting my reviews. And if you have tried Evermoment, please comment below and let me know your thoughts. I really do hope you've had a positive experience and that the glowing review that I'm giving for this painting is something that you guys will understand. Happy diamond painting, friends. Bye.